This is me. Just kidding. This is me. Hello, my name is Amanda and welcome to my channel, Always Popular, where I will be talking about pop culture, music, film, drama, and fan videos. Hello and welcome back to my channel, Always Popular. I'm Amanda, your host, and let's jump into this week's episode. If you're like me who ends up watching random videos on the internet when you're bored of famous celebrities, sassiest moments, or when celebrities fight back against interviewers, you may recognize the same people in those interviews. Over the years, one person that always stood out and always has been an inappropriate asshole on his own show is Howard Stern. Honestly, I'm surprised that he still hasn't been canceled or thrown under the bus for his inappropriate sexual behavior, or however maybe he has. So this week's episode is on why Howard Stern is the worst. Now before all the judgments and opinions I may be saying that I'm being overly sensitive, I'm not a part of the overly sensitive generation. I'm a part of the naturally sarcastic generation. This is just based on observations on stupid and inappropriate shit he shouldn't be saying as a host. And the fact that no one calls him out on this shit since he's been doing this for over 30 years. First of all, he's a fucking weirdo and has predatory behavior. Similar to other hosts, he is always prying into talking about other people's relationships and making weird comments about relationships. Things he may say are somewhat tame. However, at many times he is downright a fucking creep. And it's not the first time he was called out for his behavior on his show. He says stuff that's downright offensive and talking about sexual stuff on the show, like people's virginities. For example, when he interviewed Vilder Valderrama and lied about Mandy's virginity. It was an awkward conversation between the both of them and he should have never brought it up in the first place. It was just weird. There are a few red flags about the interview and to be honest, Howard is a walking red flag himself. For multiple years now, he's been on the radio since at least the 90s or even longer. Everything was different back then and people could take jokes. However, things that he said back then are just as awful and he just took it way too far. First of all, he is a grown adult questioning young teenagers or adults about who they're dating or could be sleeping with behind closed doors. It's called privacy for a reason, and he does that multiple times. It's like the only stuff that he likes to interview famous people about is on either sexual stuff or about their relationships. It's like everything that comes out of his mouth is about who you banging. This one has to be about the person you're banging. He's just obsessed with sex and it's fucking annoying. Also, one thing that's just as annoying is that he's just saying that he's just asking questions, but it's more like, what kind of questions are these? They're pretty fucked up questions. He acts like he's asking innocent questions when really he's asking really personal and straight up sexual weird questions to people who do not want to answer these questions. And you can tell by the reactions on all these actors or even singers faces when they do these interviews with him. It's like he's completely oblivious to what he's asking or he knows exactly what he's doing and he's just trying to get a reaction out of everyone. I mean, he is a shock jock, so I can understand why he tries to do that. But honestly, he really shouldn't. And it's not just the girls who have to put up with Howard, it's the male artists too. Even more recently, when he interviewed Harry Styles in 2020, he was just asking inappropriate questions and really went so far to ask him if he was fucked up in the head from his own parents' divorce. I mean, really? Who the fuck does he think he is? He has no right to be asking questions like that. And it's very personal, and you could tell that Harry and even his band members are visibly upset and feel uncomfortable. This interview also includes other uncomfortable moments as well. The clips speak for themselves. You could fuck over every woman on the planet. You date a woman. You're talking about Valentine's mm. Day. I almost get why you didn't have a Valentine. Although, are you, are you fucked up in the head from your parents getting divorced? Mm. This has got to be written, by, written about some girl you were mm-hmm. banging or something. Other highly notable inappropriate moments he has had over the years was when Mexican-American singer Selena got killed by Yolanda Saldivar when she was only just 23 years old. When he was on the air a few days after her death, he had the audacity to play gunshots over her music and proceeded to insult her fans when they were mourning her. He quoted, Spanish people have the worst taste in music. He pissed off an entire community of Mexican-American people and he was lucky he wasn't fired for that incident. However, a South Texas judge issued a warrant against him for the comments he made. He should consider himself lucky that her parents didn't hear that. And if I was Selena's dad, I would have found out where he worked and beat the little shit out of him. 
He has also made comments on people who spoke French. In 1997, when Stern's broadcast happened in Canada, he started to insult Providence's French-speaking community. He quoted and said, Anybody who speaks French is a scumbag. It turns you into a coward, just like in World War II. They would not stick up for us. Screw your culture, and we're invading you all. He ended up being canceled the following year for those r- remarks. And it's not just inappropriate shit, he says. He's way too sexual with everyone on his show, especially females. For another notable example besides Mandy Moore, when Emma Bunton, who was well known as Baby Spice from the Spice Girls, was on his show, he said really weird sexual comments about getting into her pants and it's just cringy to say the least he makes comments about how many men has she been with it's just downright creepy in every interview he sounds like a disgusting horny pig honestly this list can go on and on with all the sexual comments he has made since the 90s the last time i checked interviewers are supposed to be asking about what all these people are doing for their projects not their sex lives so he need, he really needs to get his shit together. Lastly, he has become very unlikable. Also, I'm not the only one who can't stand him, and it shows throughout comments on other videos on how degrading he is and how awful he really is. His personality is a major turnoff, and along with all the other incidents that has happened on his show, he is just a degrading human who nobody likes anymore. I mean, I understand that he's a shock jock, which means that he brings in viewers for being controversial, but I mean, he can do that without all the unnecessary and sexual comments comments he has said over the years he can tone it down a lot and he could do that without being fired one too many times at least four times to be exact and for some odd reason people still hire him but why it's been reported that he was the most fine radio show host by the fcc totaling to 2.5 million for station owners for content they found indecent so to be honest i think he needs to retire since he is approaching the 70s and old no offense, and leave the interviews to nicer and better people like Kelly Clarkson. Before I go, do you think Howard's time is up and should be canceled? Let me know in the comments below. Once again, thanks for listening and watching, and you'll hear me in the next episode.